Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And I am back today with another contrib contribution to the YouTube Artists Collective. So the theme this month or this time around was World in a Bottle, which I was actually really, really excited for, although then I did get a little bit stuck on the actual execution of the project. I had a lot of different ideas for it. Um, so I was really excited about this and I decided to try to do something that wasn't character driven. I think that too often I fall back on just drawing like characters and situations, or not even situations, but just like pretty characters. Like I don't even put them in situations a lot of the time. So I wanted to try to do something a little bit different and something that wasn't character driven. So I come up with the idea of um, basically this like dusty shelf in a um, like maybe like a witch's house or you know like a medicine woman or something like that and um, basically she has these bottles that are hanging down and inside them she has bottled the night sky and this was also inspired by um, Tangled so I have a painting that I did of the lantern scene in Tangled um, and that's kind of what inspired the night skies in this painting because I decided to add in like floating sky lanterns and then it ended up inspiring kind of the color palette of the whole painting. So originally I didn't really intend for it to be like a purple and gold themed painting but that's totally what ended up happening and then even the mandala on the tapestry um, back in in the background which I just added essentially for um, kind of like interest and stuff like that even that kind of looks reminiscent of the sun so that was my concept for this theme um, and if you don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is by the way it is a collection of us artists here on YouTube and there is quite a few we'll have everyone linked down below in the description box so please check out all of their channels and all of their videos but it's a collection of artists and we have a Facebook page where our viewers can go and they can suggest themes and then we pick out five themes and they will get to go and vote for the theme that they are most excited about and want to see. And then whichever one wins, we all paint a picture based on that theme or inspired by that theme and then we upload them to our YouTube channel on the same day. Um, so that is today, although I do know that some people are going to be uploading tomorrow, so that's Saturday morning. Um, we kind of have like a 24 hour window kind of thing. Um, so the theme, like I said, was World in a Bottle and I am super excited about everyone's different projects and like what everyone made like everyone was very creative with this theme and took it in a lot of different directions um some of the things that i had considered were basically like ship in a bottle style stuff um which i'm actually glad i didn't end up going with because a few other ladies did it and um way better than i ever could have um but i was thinking about like kind of like a fantasy ship in a bottle kind of scenario and maybe with like the water coming out but like underwater like the ship was going to be underwater um but then i just had this idea and i just thought it would be fun and i didn't really fancy drawing a ship um, right now so I just did this um, but this was a weird piece because it was very like it had so if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I like to say that paintings have an awkward teenage stage and this was in its awkward teenage stage for like most of the painting um, I didn't really plan it out as well as maybe I should have and so quite a bit is off here in terms of perspective and the light refractions but I think I did pull it together and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out I think it's pretty cute overall but it did have a lot of like I struggled with this a lot so this is a, a gouache painting and then I heavily heavily used colored pencils at the end to really like bring everything together and I think that's what really made the piece like like come together and be finished because I just wasn't getting there with gouache. I don't know why, but my gouache was getting really muddy. It's the same gouache I always use. I actually switched after I did the base layer to just my whole bean gouache, so it was all from the same brand as well. Um, and I think I just built up too many layers maybe and didn't really think enough about what was going on top and the best way to kind of formulate this piece. I think that I should have made a mock-up in Photoshop beforehand maybe so I could get kind of the translucency right and things like that because I don't know I think that I am like the kind of artist that I tend to get an idea and I just want to jump in with it and if I spend a lot of time on pre-production so like research um, like making a bunch of thumbnails and sketches and mock-ups and studies and things like that a lot of times I tend to lose my passion for the project I'm also a bit of a procrastinator so sometimes I and I have ADHD and I work a lot so you know my time is already pretty limited but 
also like it you know I tend to do things a little bit more last minute and that takes a lot more planning and time but that stuff is just so beneficial for you like I went to the, the Degas exhibit in Denver recently and he had so many studies upon studies for paintings and then he would actually keep the same poses and repeat them in painting after painting after painting in like different techniques and different mediums and I just feel like that's so beneficial for you because you really like when you're painting the painting like you've already studied everything like every single little part of the painting like you're ready to paint it like it's prep work and I think it's really important and I, I don't think enough people talk about that on YouTube like I could probably make a whole video about how prep work is really important but that is not what we're going to talk about right now. Um, I want to move on to the next topic. Um, like I've kind of told you about the painting and like my inspiration and my process and technique. And now I'm going to address the title of this video, which is that this is my last piece for the YouTube Artist Collective. So I joined the YouTube Artist Collective back in January of, I want to say, 2016. Um, and I was super, super excited. They invited me to be part of the group and... I was just like so psyched like my channel was still pretty small and I was finally really starting to feel like I was making connections in the YouTube community. Um, I was just super super excited about it. Before that I didn't really have any YouTube friends like before I joined the YouTube Artist Collective I didn't have very many friends on YouTube at all like there were people that I talked to in comments and things like that and I tweeted to a couple of people as well um, and maybe even exchanged a couple DMs but nothing like really strong um, until I joined the YouTube Artist Collective and especially when we switched to Discord as a way of communicating with each other it just enabled me to meet like so many amazing people like you guys probably know like Monique Renee here on YouTube is one of my best friends in the world. She is like my soul sister and like Mira Byler and Chloe Rose, um, uh, Christy and um, Sophia Liu, like Saki Wems, like who recently just rejoined the artist YouTube Artist Collective. Like I love these girls so much. They are some of the most special people in the world to me. And honestly, like everyone in the YouTube Artist Collective, like um, Val from uh, Val so R Alakar is one of the most sweet, kind-hearted people I've ever met. Bailey is so ridiculously like encouraging to new artists. Brushes and Bunnies, she just joined the YouTube Artist Collective, and I'm like so sad to be leaving right when she joined because she's so nice and like we get along so 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 well and Danica is one of the most talented people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing like she is insanely talented um and gel arts too is just like so 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 sweet and mystique arts like all of them like I love so many of them like Lemmy Lemia Crescent like she's 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 like so she cares so much about other people Lemia Crescent does like y'all don't even know like the she they all do like they're all such amazing people and I've had the honor of getting to know all of them like on a little bit more of a personal level than I did before um and then Amanda too who is our um like our manager and she takes care of a bunch of stuff like our Facebook page and really like helps manage stuff like does organize the secret Santa like does the calendar like she's she works so hard for like such little recognition and honestly like the YouTube Artist Collective has been so influential in my YouTube journey. Like, I honestly would not be where I am today without them. They have given me so much advice and inspiration, motivation. Um, like, it just... It's just amazing to have other people there that understand what it's like to be a YouTuber because it can be really hard to put your life out there and to put your art out there and deal with the negativity or the hate or just like the stress of it all. Like it's it can be hard and these girls understand and it's been amazing finding that community and I could not be more thankful for the YouTube Artist Collective, like um, for all the people that it's allowed me to meet. But I have decided to leave the YouTube Artist Collective. This is my last collective that I'm going to be participating in um, as an official member. Um, I, I'm not saying like I would definitely rejoin again in the future if I was able to, if there was a spot open, I would definitely guest, guest spot. But right now, I am super, super stressed with work. Trying to balance um, a 40 hour a week job and a YouTube channel that takes up 20 to 30 hours has just been very difficult for me. I am just finishing, like in April, that will mark my official first year of full time 40 hour a week work. Um, and it's definitely been like a bit of an adjustment for me. 
um, and I just kind of need to start dropping a couple of my obligations and priorities, especially because I actually have two big projects in the works that you guys don't know about yet. Um, plus I want to get my shop ready and up, like my store ready and up. I want to be selling prints and original artworks. When I do get the store up, I probably will sell this piece, but I don't think I'm going to be listing it like right now. Um, check the description. You know, I may have decided to, but I think I'm going to wait to list this until I get my official shop up. But I do want to get my shop up. I would also like to relaunch my Patreon in the future. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. And like I said, I do have two really big projects that I'm super excited about that you guys don't know about yet. So I just kind of felt like it was time for me to take a step back. I have been with the collective for um, about two years now, or yeah, I think two years. Yeah, because January to January, so two years, but it just, it felt like it was the right time to take a step back. Um, I, like I said, it's been two years and life is just crazy right now. I need to release a little bit like some of my obligations and I don't want to stop uploading every Friday and so this is just like one less thing that I have to plan for and like plan around um but I am super super thankful for like everything they've given me like there's such a great group of people and I'm really really sad to be leaving but I'm excited about the future and like hopefully bringing some new things to you guys um and you know it's cool because like we do try to keep like so that the collective is like somewhat contained there is a like a limited amount of people that can be in there so me leaving opens up a new spot for somebody else which is really really cool we can get some fresh blood in there there are so many i've been discovering so many amazing like artists on youtube recently especially smaller artists and it's just been like so awesome seeing like this new like almost like this new wave of like fresh air and like fresh blood making art it's like really cool to see so i love that i i really try to um like I don't know I'm really big on like promoting smaller artists if you guys follow me on Twitter I like really try to do that and like retweet people and stuff like that because I don't know I remember what it was like to still be really small I still feel really small um and I remember being like so excited when people that like I knew subscribed to my channel I think like Saki Holmes was one of the first people and I was just like so overwhelmed like I was so excited about it but um, yeah, so that is why I am going to be leaving the YouTube Artist Collective. I'm just super busy and I just need to take some time off from some of my obligations so that I can work on some other fun things for you guys um, with some people that you guys know. Um, <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited. I just like, that will be coming. That will be coming and you guys will see, hopefully over the summer things will be happening. It's just like, we've been working on it for so long and I'm so excited and like, the girls that are part of this know like what I'm talking about and I can't tell you guys but you guys will see it's gonna be great but <laughs> that is pretty much it like we're coming to the end of this video this was kind of a rambly this like voiceover reminds me of my old like old school voiceovers you know when it was just me talking about the art which I don't do anymore because people don't really tend to watch them but um YouTube artists collective videos I get a little bit more leeway and I get to kind of you know talk about the art a little bit more and kind of whatever topics I feel like talking about. But yeah, this is my finished piece or almost finished piece. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, honestly. Like it was a real struggle and it's definitely by no means perfect, but I am happy with it. It was fun. Actually, it was very stressful at times, but overall it was fun and I like the colors and I'm happy, you know, I, I'm happy. Um, <laughs> I don't have to be perfect all the time. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, let me know what you thought of this video down below. Let me know what you think of the art. Any guesses as to what my secret project is? Uh, or who it's with? Uh, I'm sure there's one person that y'all will be able to guess very easily. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I do upload new art videos every single Friday, so come join the Wonderland fam. We'd be happy to have ya. Follow me on my social media if you aren't already. It's at Hello Alice on pretty much everything. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!